Hi, I am Vishal. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a water surface uh, with the help of a uh, pond uh, which is available in Dynamics. So, let's get started. In Dynamics, uh, if you just get into the fluid effects, we have an option called pond. The pond is never been discussed at any of uh, the online tutorials and uh, throughout the internet I have seen. Uh, the pond really works great if you just start exploring it. So what I've done is uh, I just uh, I'll just create a pond. A uh, pond is basically a, a, a fluid container, or which has a surface on it, which can be controlled with the basic called uh, dynamic attributes, which you have uh, used in a normal fluid container. So here, when I just uh, say create pond, you have something called size. It controls the size of the pond this can be uh, as per your requirement so if I generally change here the size it was earlier 20 I just change it to 30 let's create a pond and what you get is uh, a container with the size of 30 units width and depth so let me just uh, go to the shaded mode and you see this pond here now what's great about this is let's say uh, I mean it, it does not uh, look dynamic at all at this uh, stage uh, but if I generally select the container and open the attribute editor and uh, just go down to textures and uh, Uh, here in textures if I start using this texture opacity you see a kind of displacement um, in the water surface or the, in the pond surface we have different varieties of uh, geometry displacements here so you can use any of these options here any of the 3d textures here so at this, in this case, I would uh, generally uh, stick with Berlin noise and uh, just go down and uh, we have some options to control the textures uh, properties. So I'll be using this amplitude option to reduce the amount of displacement happening here and uh, start playing with the frequency of the texture. And if you feel that the resolution of the, I mean the quality of the surface doesn't look to the satisfactory levels, you can always go to the resolution and increase the resolution, the base resolution to get more quality in the surface. And am I getting any uh, water movement here or water wave movement? Uh, obviously you're not seeing any change in the surface uh, if I'm doing a playback but if I just go down to the textures we have something called texture time here I write an expression just right click here and just create an expression and pawn shape one dot texture time is equals to time just write this expression there's a other way to do the same thing that is just in the box just type equals to time and it's the same thing uh, which you do by create expression option so if you see now water displacement is seen in the water in the pond container so that's really fantastic if you feel that uh, the surface is very I mean the rippling is very fast always you have option to control this expression in this case if I want to slow down I'll say time into a number which is less than 1 and greater than 0 I use that number by multiplying this with 0.5 I reduce the value by 50% and the expression with the semicolon and then 
the water rippling would be pretty much low now and if you just go down here to texture origins this will allow me to make the water travel along one single direction let's say I want the water to travel this way I use the texture origin option which generally makes the water to shift uh, in x axis of the container so let me write an expression here equals to time but I'll multiply with 0.1 what does it mean it affects based on the time expression and takes only 10% of the value so let me just play it and you see the water traveling in one single direction there if you want the same thing to be in the opposite direction this way and I could just go to the time uh, I can multiply this with minus 0.1 instead a positive number take a negative number so I can make a flowing water surface and that's that is not uh, the end we can actually select the container and modify convert fluids to polygons now what do you see is a polygonal geometry where you get this water surface on a polygonal mesh and if I generally select this geometry and assign a shader I'll not render it but I would like to see this in the viewport itself so I'll be using a form shader where I get that nice glossy look In reflected color, I'll take environment texture that would be uh, environment sky. So let's press 6 for texture mode and choose high quality render. Generally the viewport shading uh, for normal geometry type is uh, visible but uh, here for the pond it's not visible so maybe I could try a render and see and you see here uh, it became completely reflect uh, reflective material so its viewport shading is not visible in this case so it's okay just want to give a aquatic aqua blue color and then we've got a nice water surface which is uh, you know. and uh, that's not the end uh, you have still a lot of control on this you can maybe use any deformer which uh, gen you generally use to deform any model in this case maybe you can use a pen deformer and uh,
it's like uh, I'm just trying to create a, a water falling from a waterfall and it generally drifts over uh, the edge so I'm just trying to create that kind of uh, you know surface I'll just temporarily do this in IFF format oops this this water is uh, going in the reverse direction hmm. so let me select the pawn ship and remove the negative value there and also we will set the scale value to 1 and then do a playlist so you can create a, a nice water stream with the pond and that that is not the end and you could make a boat traveling through this water surfaces you can create ripples waves with the help of uh, the wake emitter which is there in the pond fluid containers and uh, we can creating some amazing effects with it um, let me just skip the play blast and see what I get so that that is how you get the surface so instead of relying on very complex dynamic tools you could generally stick to this amazing pond surface uh, to generate a water plane and create amazing uh, water effects and I explored this pawn tool and really felt amazed with the features what this pawn can do I would like to share further information on this in later tutorials uh, for this tutorial I'll just wind it up um, hope you liked it thank you